So this room right now has a lot of hard surfaces. It's got these floorboards, my table, the wall, and my door is even open to the hallway. And as you can see, I have very light curtains and my windows open, and all of this combined is creating a lot of echo in this room. And that is producing very yucky sound. So let's see what happens if we add curtains, sound blankets, and just really dampen this room to see the impact it has on reducing echo. So these blankets are actually removalist blankets designed to wrap around furniture, put in a truck and go. But I use them on set to reduce echo and treat a room. And I think they're great and they're really affordable, like 12 bucks. So I've gone ahead, I put up the curtains, I laid these sound blankets down and I think we've reduced the echo in this room quite dramatically. This room right now has a lot of reverb and a lot of echo. I think you can agree with me that listening to audio without so much echo in the room is a lot more enjoyable. And so I hope this has been helpful. You don't have to go and buy blankets from your local hardware store, but you could use, you could use anything soft. Uh, you could take the blanket off your bed, hang it up in the room, and you'll see echo really reduced. Now it's time to store these blankets really neatly. And I have learned from other filmmakers how to do this and I want to pass it on to you. And so all you have to do is lay it out, fold it into thirds. At one end, you're going to create these triangles like you're creating a paper aeroplane. And leave about a, I don't know, two and a half foot and you fold the end in towards what you've rolled up. And now what you do is you roll it into itself, which creates a bit of a burrito effect. Oh yeah. Really handy tip for storing these blankets. Roll it up like a burrito and you'll look like a boss.